did you know that you have thousands, if not millions, of circuits on you right now, made up of billions of transistors? These circuits are hidden within microchips that make up your cell phones and computers. You probably noticed that these devices keep getting smaller and faster. And this is because we can fit more and more circuits onto these, onto smaller, more useful chips. Now each of these uh, uh, chips, each of these circuits have a job to do. But in order for the chip to work as a whole, these circuits have to be connected together. And currently that's do done doing electrical connections made of copper wire. Now having more circuits on a chip is a great thing, but there's a problem. These circuits do their job of processing information very quickly, but we can no longer get the information to these circuits fast enough using these copper wires. Now, electrical connections are like Quebec roads. <laughs> sure, they do the job, but if you want to get across in one piece, you're going to have to go slow. Now, most people in the, a lot of people in the industry are now looking towards fiber optics, which uses light to transmit data. Uh, now, most of you are familiar with fiber optics because we, we get our TV and internet from these cables nowadays. Um, all we have to do is start thinking about them on a much smaller scale, about two centimeters long, in order to fit on chip. Now, by replacing these electrical connections with optical connections, we're taking that beat up road and we're making it into a nice, smooth optical highway. Data traveling on the smooth road experiences a thousand times less loss than with copper wire. Optics on chip can thus revolutionize the way that we think about computing. What I'm proposing is, is to use special properties of optics to send multiple information signals at the same time on a smooth optical highway. Now, this bundling of information is like sending passengers on a bus that are all going to the same destination at this, uh, simultaneously. I, my work also focuses on sending a special signal with that whose job it is to organize the people, or passengers, or data signals, uh, at the bus terminus. Now, this is called the synchronizing data signal, synchronizing clock signal. Without this clock signal, it would take much more time and energy for the data to organize itself at the receiving end. For my thesis, I'll be looking at the problem of data transfer using optical connections, uh, and then, use, and then uh, design and fabricate microchips in order to test these ideas. If there's any doubt about the need for this research, just remember that 15 years ago, we were quite happy with the speeds of our computers, whereas now, we probably wouldn't want to go back. Think about where we can be in 15 years from now. Thank you.